significant moments, there were several. Um, in, it was, for example, the, the publication of the 9133 standard in 2004. For example, for the NATO standard EcoIP 2310 based on IQG 9100. This was also a great moment in more recent years. Um, and also when I saw the first time the statistics from the Supply Chain Management Handbook, I think it was about 10 years ago, when I saw how much I SCMH is used outside aerospace uh, perimeter. I think that uh, we um, issued 9100 and ICO scheme was established and uh, before that certification scheme is established in, in the, each region. Uh, in Asia, Japan was the first one to, to uh, establish that scheme. And I think the moment is it's understood by the industry and also the authorities. That's a wonderful moment for me. No, actually, there are two moments which made me proud of the efforts of the team I, I was uh, working with. And uh, the first one is in 2008 with the Space Forum. Uh, we had been proposing to put in the standard some uh, signature space requirements like uh, risk management, project management, uh, critical items. And uh, uh, this was rejected for eight years. It was considered too advanced, uh, too different from what aviation was doing. But finally, this was approved by the 9100 team to be included in the, in the 9100 standard. That was a really exciting moment after eight years of uh, gestation. But uh, what I liked uh, most is that uh, at the end, everybody felt to be owner of those requirements. And um, everybody was very proud to have included these more demanding requirements in, uh, in the standard. And uh, uh, the other defining moment for my work with NQG, of course, has been uh, the development of, uh, of AIM. It's been a fantastic project. Uh, we developed AIM in a couple of years. And also we had to develop an online application to use it. Initially, we were not planning to develop such application, but the executive committee required to do so. And that was a very good decision, I, I must recognize. What should we be proud of, if you will? I think we demonstrated that we could uh, develop a sector scheme and a, a, a resource, and I'm talking about the online aerospace supplier information system, OASIS, the different versions of that uh, database that we had. We really uh, reached new territory by reaching agreement to have audit results data, certification data in a repository that was uh, reliable, that I could get information very timely, and I think that was a game changer for our scheme, having that resource, having the feedback process in the system. So, so the big moment to me was when we moved away from Oasis just being a quote unquote reference source to being a forms generation system and having that audit data readily available for our stakeholders. I think that's a, I know that's a goal that we continue to have as we move into the new Oasis V3, but I really consider our database as a game changer. I think the, the first target of the QG was, as I said, uh, at 9100 schemes. And I think we reached there in 10, 15 years. And during that conversation, uh, I remember that we, we started the a, a supplier handbook, SCMH, sorry. That activity uh, helped the industry for more high quality and uh, safety product. So I, I don't know the current discussion, but those kind of um, continuous improvement activity is still important for the industry. And if, if IAQZ continues to doing that uh, kind of activities, that will be very helpful for the industry and authorities. That's my understanding.